Hello everyone, it's Rita here and I'm just going to do a short video which is a tip that I wanted to share on my Facebook channel and my YouTube um, about removing the backing of stickers. It's just very easy to do and everybody has a challenge to, like I have no nails so I can't even hardly pick these up. I mean I have nails but they're so blunt um, because they're um, acrylic. So, if I want to get this sticker off, this backing here is um, a paper type back. I mean, it's almost impossible to get get that sticker off. So then I could take a safe or um, a pen or scratch it, and maybe that would help. But still, it's tough to go through that. Or I could bend it like this and try to get the papers to come apart but look at all that time just uh, you know fiddling with it so the first thing I want to share with you is when you have your washi tape and well this this goes along with it but um, if you want to unroll your washi and look at here I can't um, get this even to to lift up I have to use a pokey tool or something I think that's the right way so instead I take a piece of scotch tape I lay it over where it's going to come down and just rub it with your nail or anything and then lift up and there's your washi tape okay so that's a little trick there on just getting your washi tape off of your reel because um, that can be difficult as well and then it starts ripping and then you get shreds and all that kind of stuff so now in order to get them off of your stickers we use washi tape not scotch tape because if you use scotch tape and you go to put it on a page that you want to lay it down the scotch tape will rip your paper it won't um, it, it doesn't come up really easy it'll rip where washi is meant to be stuck down and you see that and lift right back off and that's what you want so don't use scotch tape to do this whoops sorry okay so I'm going to rip off a little piece you only need a little piece and I use it time and time again it just depends on when it gets it won't stick anymore so I want to take this sticker off here and this one like I said has a paper back let's see what happens I put it in a position where uh, you know, I want to start to rip it off. It doesn't matter where you do it, really. And then I take my nail and just kind of do a, a little rub on there. And voila, there's my sticker coming up. Like so. Now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put it on this journal page because I don't use my calendar that much. I use the weekly thing. This is kind of a big sticker to handle, but then I'll bring it down here, stick it on my page, get it all stuck down, and then pull your washi tape off. Okay? So, let's uh, do another kind. Let's do May. Let's do these little flowers. Now, these are the kind you get from... Timu or uh, Aliexpress or maybe uh, Creative um, Studio, uh, your Creative Studio. Just anybody who sells those packets like this, you know, you get a whole bunch. So that, again, we just take it and put down our washi. Give it a little bit of a rub with your nail and lift it up and see if it comes off. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to go back and do it again, but this one came up. And then we just pull it off and hold it by this. And I think I'll put it right up here. Lay the whole thing down. And the reason you need to have washi tape is because scotch tape would stick to that and rip your page. Whereas wash, washi tape won't. Okay. Now, let's see what other kind do I have that I wanted to share. I'm going to keep it short. Um, these are...
page stickers that you get like at um, Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree, someplace like that. Let's see, June, let's go to June. Um, I don't know, let's put a teacup on. So you're gonna cut this out. And most of the time, all this plastic doesn't show, but I do kind of do a, I don't want all that to be on my page, that shiny part. So I'll just trim around it like so. And then I'm still using the same piece of washi because it's still pretty sticky. And you use washi that you don't, you know, necessarily, you know, that one came off nice and easy. I'll put it down here. Uh, you use a washi that you may not care for that much, you know. So there's that. Now, let's see. August. This would be pretty for August. This one is already kind of bent up and coming off as it is. Sometimes you don't even need to um, do a lot of pressing. Sometimes it comes up really easy. Be my luck, it'll go off the page. <sighs> These are washi stickers, but they don't act like washi. They really do stick good. All right. And then the other one is, um, is it this one? I don't know if it's this one because I make my own. Well, maybe I don't have one of my own. Hmm. Well, I print my stickers uh, on this paper. And I, I put a piece of this here just so you could see. If you can see the transparency through that. And then once it sticks, you, it really has a good transparency. I put this in my computer. And this is from Amazon. I think I have this in my links, uh, my Amazon store. Um, it's called Mako. And it's inkjet, laser and inkjet, clear labels. And it's matte clear. I don't like shiny, so um, I make sure that it says matte. And it's eight and a half by 11, 50 sheets. I don't know how much it cost, I can't remember. I don't think it was that bad. Um, you can make a, whoops, everything's falling off my desk. You can make a lot of stickers on this page. So if I wanna do a real large floral, hold on. I know I have, I must have some in here that I've made I think here's one I think uh, another thing too if you have a sticky back page like these <clears throat> I buy these online too um, right now my back's stuck so if you had a flower and you can see my back is still stuck to my page, but sometimes you can just pull the flower off and the back will stick to the page. And it's an easy way to get your stickers off because they're stuck down. Let me try that over here on something. Let's try it on this one. Let's just see if We stick it on there, and you didn't want to use washi tape. See, there's the backing. No, that one just came right off, so that one didn't work. Oops. But these here, I made. So I'm just going to cut one out of here. This is just a digital that I printed. And like if I'm doing a journal and my digital has a lot of flower um, or birds or whatever, they give you a page that's got some 
um, cutouts. You can do them with um, with that paper. You can just make your own sticker. Okay, so I'm just going to. I got all these backings. Just wrap that on there a little bit and let it drop. Kind of see if it's separated before you take it off. And it is. And I'll just put that one right there. There we go. And then this paper that I use, um, that Maco, you can barely tell there's a sticker on there. Barely. I don't usually ink them because I don't want to see that part. I want it to look like it blends right into the page. So I hope that helps those who um, was, were asking about that on Facebook, about how to get stickers off the backs, because I know I couldn't, I, I didn't want to use them at all because it's just such a hassle. And I came up with this a long time ago, <clears throat> and I don't see many people um, using it, but maybe they'll see it this time and find out that that really works well. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.